In this video, we're going to show you how to assemble and set up your Tusk Sub-Zero Plow push tubes and blade. Please refer to our plow mount videos for instructions to get the mount plate attached to your specific ATV. The push tube and the blade come in two separate boxes. So we're going to start by opening the push tube box. Once that's open, we'll go ahead and start taking the parts out of the box. The small box inside contains all the hardware to assemble the push tube as well as the springs. Now we're going to go ahead and take out the blade angle bracket. It's zip tied to the push tube, so just cut those zip ties and pull it out. Then we can go ahead and remove the push pivot plate. It's zip tied to the push tubes as well, so you can cut those. Go ahead and pull it out of the bubble wrap. And then we're just going to set these parts aside. We're going to pull the push tube out of the box. And now we can assemble the parts on the push tube. We're going to start by putting the push pivot on top of the push tube. And then we're going to put the blade angle bracket on top of the push pivot. Take one of the M16 by 40 millimeter Allen head bolts, slide it up through the push tube and through the push pivot. Then you can install the washer and lock nut. And now on the other side, you're going to get the other 40 millimeter Allen head bolt and you're going to slide it through the top of the blade angle bracket. Now you're going to put a bushing in between the push tube and the blade angle bracket. So make sure you get that in there. Once that's in place, you can put the washer on the back and the lock nut. Now that we have both bolts in place, we can tighten them up. On the front of the push tube, you're going to want to tighten the bolt and nut all the way and then back it off a half a turn. This is going to allow the blade of the plow to pivot. On the back side, you're going to tighten it up all the way. We're not going to back this one off a half a turn like we did the front. This one needs to remain tight. Now we can install the four-way tilt stop Run the M10 by 30 millimeter hex bolt through the four-way tilt stop, then through the push pivot, followed by the washer and lock nut. We'll tighten these up a little later on. Now let's go ahead and move to the blade. We're going to go ahead and open up the box, pull out the packing material, and we're going to pull the blade out and lay it flat on the ground. Notice inside the box, there's a box of hardware. It's actually the skids that come with the blade. Now we're going to lay the blade up next to the push tube so we can assemble them together. In the hardware kit, you're going to find two bushings that fit inside the push pivot hole where it mounts to the blade. Go ahead and install that. Then you can go ahead and install the M12 by 35 millimeter hex flange bolt through the blade and push pivot install the washer and lock nut on the back side. Once the bolts and washer and nut are in place, go ahead and tighten those up on each side. Now we can move to installing the trip springs. We're going to start by inserting the eye bolts into the plow. We're going to put a washer and nut on the eye bolt. And once those are in place, we're going to put the spring on. We're going to attach the spring to the push pivot and the eye bolt. And it's important that the opening of the spring is facing downward. Once those are in place, we're just going to snug up the eye bolt so that the spring has a little bit of tension on it. Now we can move to the skids. The skid is primarily used when you're plowing on a gravel surface or dirt surface. It kind of keeps the blade up. So there's several different washers and spacers that come with it. Those are there primarily just to adjust the height of the skids. We're going to put one washer on the bottom and the rest on top. We'll adjust that later on. Now that the push tube and the blades have been put together, we're going to attach it to the ATV. Now this ATV already has the mount plate attached. We show how to do this in other videos. We're just going to slide the ATV over the plow lift up the end of the plow and slide it into the ears of the mount plate. Insert the straight pin and then the hairpin to keep the pin in place. We'll do the same on the other side. And then from here we can make some adjustments to the plow. You'll notice there's three positions on the blade angle bracket 
for the pin where the hook off your winch is going to connect. So you want it the most vertical to get a better lift on the plow. So in this case, we're going to move it to the back position. We're going to start by getting the winch cable down there, and then we're going to insert the pin in that furthest back position. Now we can test the winch, uh, lift the plow up and down a couple times, make sure it's working properly. Now we can make our final adjustments with our four-way tilt stop. We'd left these loose before, now we can kind of decide which position we want them in. By rotating the four-way tilt stop, it'll change the angle of the blade depending on which side is resting against the blade. Once you get those in the desired position, tighten up both bolts. Then we want to move to the springs. Tighten those eye bolts so that there's a little bit of tension on the springs. Now we can move to our gravel skids once again. If you're going to be plowing in gravel or on dirt, you want to make sure that those skids are touching the ground before the blade. So to make this adjustment, we've lifted up the blade, we've set a block of wood underneath so we could pull the skid out, and we're just going to adjust the position of those washers, whether we put more on the bottom or more on the top, um, just to raise and lower the skid. In this case, we're setting it up for gravel, so we want the skids to touch the ground before the wear bar on the blade. So with the blade down, you can see we have about a quarter inch or more underneath the wear bar. If you're going to be plowing concrete or blacktop, you want to make sure the wear bar on the blade is touching the ground. And finally, with the blade lifted in the air slightly, we'll show you how to adjust the angle. Simply pull up on the L-pin to release it from its position. Rotate the blade and release the L-pin so it'll drop into position. And there you have it. Thanks for watching and we hope you enjoy your Tusk Sub-Zero snowplow.